Hello reformers and welcome to The Elder Scrolls Legends. Now this is a card game, so if you're not interested in card games, well, you know that this is probably not for you. Anyway, the point is, what we are going to be doing is taking a quick look at this, and if you'd like to see more, then by all means hit the like button and comment, and maybe we can have some fun with this, because I'm actually a big fan of card games in general, I'm just, uh, sometimes I'm not particularly good at them, so obviously, you know, I thought I'd give this a try, because this is one of the newest ones to have come out. It has been in beta for quite some time, and it has just fully released, as far as I'm aware, on Steam. So, I thought I'd give it a go. Anyway, we can now choose an avatar, and apparently this has an effect on your abilities, or should we say, on your deck. So as a Breton, you will more quickly collect cards that can deflect damage. As a Dark Elf, you will more quickly collect cards that harness the power of the Fallen. So in other words, the more cards that die, I suppose you gain more power as a result. As a High Elf, you will more quickly collect spell-related cards. An Imperial, more quickly collect cards that build large armies. Khajiit, nimbly attacking your opponent. Nord, relentlessly attack your foes. Orc, reflects your ability to lead other Orcs into battle, so more of a sort of Zerg style, perhaps? You will more collectly, uh, quick, collectly? Yes. quickly collect weapon-related cards. As a Red Guard? As a Wood Elf, you will more quickly collect cards that prey on a weakened foe, an Argonian that will reward you for playing a long game. So, yeah, it really depends on what kind of play style you want to have. I actually quite like the Dark Elf sort of style in general, so I'm probably going to be selecting this one. If I can. Yep, there we go. Thank you. Bring me a warrior with strength and courage. That Nord looks adequate. Bring the mortal forth. And for his opponent, that one. That one. Yes, that's us. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, obviously now we are going to be well, having... Oh, my. Yeah, they are going to kill us either way. But this is a tutorial. This is basically a tutorial. So I guess we're just going to speed through this. Because this is going to be quite easy, I suppose. Place the creature in the lane. I'm not ready to die. Oh, he's just going for us. Well, obviously he's just going for us. I mean, that, that would be the logical thing Attack to assume. Their creatures. Oh, I probably should have gone for this one, actually. Yeah, I probably should have gone for Don't that worry, one. Ah, uh, that might be a bit when difficult, wouldn't fight, it? Because now, this guy is probably going to be dealing damage to me. Oh, no, he didn't. He traded? Well, that was, that was very weird. Okay. I probably would not have done that if I was him. He probably should have just gone face. They won't escape us. Attack with one. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm forgetting to do that. There we go. Opponent's health to zero to win. Right. Okay. Any mead in the blood? Heavy battle axe. Oh, heavy battle axe. That gives me plus four. Play heavy battle axe to improve one of your creep. That's crazy. Oh yeah, and there we go. Insta kill. We work together. We might have a chance. A victory. Victory for Dark Elf. Yes. And we oh, we're getting some experience as well. I wonder what that does. So that does that unlock some more cards for us, I suppose? Probably, maybe. Level up rewards. Yes, there we go. Ah, oh, we're well, we're gaining oh, we're gaining packs. Oh, very nice. Okay, so we can open those packs up. We gain a card upgrade. Yes, I heard about this. So in the Elder Scrolls Legends, you can upgrade the cards that you use the most. So obviously they will become a little bit better. And as you can see, when you summon it, you can deal one damage to a particular opponent. That's nice. Okay, let's open the rest. Crushing Blow, deal 3 damage, and Orc Clansman. Obviously, we're not using Orcs, or are we? Are we going to be using Orcs? Maybe we are. Your adventure has begun. Play Story Mode to unlock lots of other features. Daily quests, solo and versus arena play, practice mode, ranked play, and lots more. Oh, well, thank you. I'm Tyr, one of the Blades. Two of us, a dozen of them. It's almost a fair fight. Almost. 
almost a fair fight. So yes, as you see, we have to go through a couple of stages here, which does act as a bit of a tutorial, but obviously it also unlocks the other modes. So if we go through to the next one, I'm sure we'll learn a little bit more about our deck. And we have more HP this time as well. Most Ah, we have lanes now. Oh yes, so now this is the other thing with the Elder Scrolls Legends. There isn't only one board, basically. So whenever you put a, a creature down, you have to choose between two lanes. Or, I don't, I don't know whether they've added a third lane in, but if they have, then that's pretty cool. But otherwise, as you can see here, it just has to go in one of these lanes. So, for example, if I place this Orc Clansman over here... And then I can strengthen that one, and then we can attack this. There you go. But, now, do bear in mind that he has to try to balance the amounts of minions in each of his lanes. So he can't just ignore one lane. We're just going to be placing that there. There we go. And should I, should, should I just attack face? I'm, I'm just going to attack face, actually. He has to trade. He has to trade, because he is losing in terms of his HP. There you go. So we got some free, nice little bit of two damage against him there. Ah, now this is great. This is absolutely fantastic. Now what we can do here with this is because we've upgraded it, it now has one extra damage. And we can use that one damage to take care of that one HP Dark Adherent. And then we just have a free lane over here with these two little scuttlers just nibbling away on his face. What face? Doesn't really have a face, does he? He's kind of a skeleton, but I guess that's just a mask or something. Ah, destroy, destroy an enemy creature with two or less power. So obviously they're going to destroy one of these. Yep, there you go. That's taken away quite a bit of our damage output. But we've now just drawn Crushing Blow, and that is going to be used against his face. Yeah, I'm just throwing a bottle at him. Take that, you drunk! Apparently that's what we're doing. There you go. That was nice. I'm actually really liking this so far. I actually really like the split board. I, I like that the most about the Elder Scrolls Legends. Obviously, the aesthetic is really quite nice as well, because if you're a fan of Elder Scrolls at all, then this is probably a game that you'd want to try out at the very least, because even if you're not a fan of card games, you may be a fan of the Elder Scrolls. So let's have a look here. Give a creature. I don't know. All right. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is free to play as well, so you don't actually have to buy it as far as I'm aware. I think they use microtransactions and things like that. Okay, that medic could come in handy. These mortals must not be allowed to reveal Lord Narathan's plans. Destroy them. And there's a bit of a loose story here as well, which I quite appreciate. It gives a little bit of background and a little bit of substance to what you're actually doing, instead of just fighting nameless enemies. Ah, oh, we have 20 HP now. I believe ma the maximum is 30 in the Elder Scrolls Legends. It might be a little bit more. And yes, I do know about Magicka. Thank you very much. We've been using it. I, I find it a bit, a, a bit weird that they didn't tell us about that initially, but I suppose that's fine because we are having a lot of fun with this. When Fiery Imp attacks, deal two damage to your opponent. That's really nice. Yeah, we're going to need to try and protect that. Does this have a taunt kind of ability? Where's the, where's the taunt? I don't think we have a taunt. I'm going to just place that over here, I guess. Just going to go face, because this guy's going to trade. Yeah. And there's a Vile Imp that's going to take care of that, which is a bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Ah, maybe it's not going to take care of that, because we do have the Sunhold Medic, which we are going to be placing over here. And then we're going to be giving the health there. And we're going to trade this time, because we can. And then we're just going to allow that one damage to go through, because personally, I don't really... I don't really see a necessity. Oh, no, it's going to be two damage now. Well, that's fine. Don't really see a necessity to really worry about it too much. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go for something like... Hmm, maybe we should just stack the board on the left. Let's stack the board on the left, shall we? We're just going to trade like that. There we go. I think that's that's quite good. Yeah, 
Yeah, now he's stacking the other side of the board, so we need to be a little bit careful about that. Okay, so deal three damage. That's actually pretty good, but we have six damage right now, so technically I could deal nine damage on the board right away. Could deal nine damage. Do we want to do that, however? Because what I could do instead is place this guy here. Oh, he could in. trade two for one. I don't know whether he's going to... Oh, no! I pressed next turn without attacking. Oh, oh of course. Of course I would. Oh, well. That doesn't matter too much. Ah, uh, this guy's going to trade. Yeah. Oh, no, he's, he's not. Interesting. Interesting. I actually thought he was going to trade there. Well, I made a huge error by pressing next turn, didn't I, without attacking? Well, that's not very good, is it? Oh, well. doesn't matter too much because we can just deal with that. And I think I'm actually just going to go face here. Am I? That's four damage. That's quite a lot of damage. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll just trade. Halt in the name of the Yara. And we're just going to attack face. There we go. Yeah, we would already have him at about, what, two? Yeah, we'd probably have him at about two HP right now. So, my bad. <laughs> my bad. But it's okay, because we actually have him dead to rights right now because of the heavy battle axe as well. I mean, look at that. That's just utterly insanity. Yeah, there we go. Boom, boom. And he's dead. Yeah, we would have had him dead one more turn ahead of time, but... Oh, well, never mind. Blood will flow, and my master will let loose darkness on the world. I don't think so. Thank you very much. And we're going to get a little bit of a nice upgrade here. I think we're going to get a bit of an upgrade. Okay, let's see. Are we going to get an upgrade? Maybe we're going to be able to upgrade something? Yep, we're going to be able to upgrade. What are we going to upgrade? White Run Recruit. What are we going to get from it? Oh, the White Run Trooper, six damage. Wow, that's insane. Six attack power. That is really, really good, but obviously it's quite weak. Ah, okay. So because we are playing a strength and willpower deck, by the looks of things, we have the opportunity to choose something. So what are we going to choose? A Bog Lurcher is nine attack and one health. That is crazy. Fireball deals one damage to all enemies. That could be very, very useful. A Battle Rage Orc is actually pretty nice as well because if you don't know anything about card games, having charge enables the card to attack immediately because otherwise you'd have to wait and it has summoning sickness or whatever t other term you want to use. So, hmm. I don't know, actually. I think we should go for the Battle Rage Orc. I'd actually... Wait. Oh, we're getting all of them. Oh, I thought I had to choose. Ah. Oh. Okay, well. The Dramora's words unnerved the hero. They journeyed north to meet Laneth, a sorceress friend of Tears, well versed in Daedric matters. But the road ahead was far from clear. Look what we have here. Standard T. Hand over your coin or you die. This is our road. Nobody passes without paying a tribute. We haven't got any money. As for taking our lives. Oh, it seems like bandits are trying to prey upon us. We will not allow that, will we? We go second what this time. Health you lose. You will lose a rune and draw a card. Ah, there's the other thing that I was uh, a little bit unaware of. The Elder Scrolls Legends has a new system where when you lose HP, you have an opportunity to draw cards. And I don't know what losing runes means. I, I suppose you can draw three cards as you go down in HP. So that's very interesting because that can mean that if you acquire board control, which obviously just means, you know, having as many... You know, having as many units on the fields of battle as you can. And then just waiting until you have an overwhelming presence on the board. Then what you can do technically is just burst your enemy down and they won't have an opportunity to use their runes. So that's pretty nice. That is actually pretty nice. Anyway, what we're going to do here is I think I'm probably going to spawn the Sunhold Medic probably... Probably here. Then we're going to go for the Watchman over there. And we're going to go for an attack on this. That's going to survive, thankfully. And then we'll go next turn. 
So what we're obviously trying to do right now is trying to not, yes, as you can see there, we're gaining a card. We're just trying not to get overwhelmed because they're trying to just get one side absolutely overwhelming there, which is absolutely fine. And as you can see, charge creatures can attack immediately. So we are obviously going to be doing that. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just trade. Tell me where it hurts. There we go. And we're going to go for the orc there and just take care of that. We're just going to establish board control. A little bit here. I'm probably going to try to get board control before I start bursting them down. Because I don't want them to draw more cards. Because, I mean, how many cards does he have now? He has two. And we have four. So, obviously, we're winning quite considerably in terms of our hand. But, yes, otherwise... Mm. Alright. So, we're going we're gonna to do this. And we're going to trade. Maybe I shouldn't have traded. Hmm. Not entirely sure. Ah, whoa, okay. Wow, that was that was a pretty powerful powerful move right there. Oh, never mind, we've got Fireball. <laughs> oh, that was, I think that was quite scripted, don't you think? Yes, I think that was quite scripted. Okay, well, goodbye. Yes, that was, uh, that's a very, very good card, isn't it? Okay, well, let's just attack. I don't really mind whether he gets some cards right now because we have amazing board control. And if he s decides to spawn something really, really good, then I'll just use Crushing Blow against it or something. I don't think he's going to be able to prevent us from killing him this turn because, again, we have Crushing Blow. And even if we didn't, we also have Valenwood Huntsman, which is also able to hit him as far as I'm aware. There you go. Victory is ours, and not enough experience to gain level, but that's okay. The last bandit, seeing his fallen companions, dropped to his knees. He said that if the hero spared his life, he would show them where the robbers had hidden their ill-gotten treasure. But the merchant demanded justice. And what did your hero do? Aha, so this is another one of those choices, and it's actually really cool how they do something like this. Now, let's see, can you actually gain both of these cards? I'm pretty can I'm pretty sure you can gain both of these cards, because this is a relatively competitive game, so you would assume that you'd be able to get both. But I think considering we already have something that is a buff, so we have the, the battle axe thing, but this is only one magicka. So one magic is actually very good, but destroying a creature with two power or less, that could come in really handy. So I think I'm going to go for Execute. The bandit's villainous career ended there. All right. Well, yes, I, I suppose that is only, you know, it's only fair because he's, you know, picking on some pretty... Innocent people. Anyway, we are also gaining Legion Shield now, which is also nice. So I think my choice to select Execute was perfectly fine because if we have too many buff cards, then we're just going to have too many buff cards and we're not going to have enough minions to use them on. I guess. Maybe. The minion guards. Halt! We're looking for a rogue blade who matches your description. There must be some misunderstanding. What kind of misunderstanding? The kind where you thought we'd come quietly. Yes, so the Dominion Guards. All right, let's deal with them then, shall we? I'm looking forward to actually using our new cards because the new cards actually seem really, really powerful. But obviously this is, as I say, just the initial starting tutorial thing. The Dominion Troops have two guards already in position. Oh, I see. And they have taunt, by the looks of things. Or well, technically guard. Guard. Enemies must attack this. So you must obviously be starting to attack that. Okay, well that's absolutely fine. Because we can just, you know, spawn oh, one of these guys the somewhere. By the ancestors, I will never surrender. Uh, Thalmor agent already, huh? Uh, I see. Guards must be destroyed before you can attack other enemies in their lane. Yeah, I know that. Thank you very much. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm actually... Uh, yeah, I'd love to be able to use Execute. 
but I, apparently I can't do that at the same time as using something here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to allow this guy to attack for now. Ooh, using a removal. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, that's absolutely fine. No worries. No problem at all there. Right, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Going to take care of that. There we go. All right. Yeah, I don't actually mind taking another four damage if he decides to do that. And we're gaining a lot of extra cards because he is bursting us down rather considerably, as you can see. We're just gaining so many cards here, so we're going to have a lot of different options. And we've just gained a Legion Shield as well, which is, oh, well, just insanity. Because, you know what we can do with that? Yeah, we can actually do something really, really cool with that. Awaiting orders. Oh, look at that. And now you're going to have to attack that, aren't you? You terrible, terrible fiend. Yes. Okay, not bad, not bad. There you go. That's what we like to see. Okay, he's going to continue spawning these, which is absolutely fine, because they don't have any attack, so it's very, very easy to get by them, because Execute is also very, very effective. Alright, so we're going to spawn a Hive Worker here, and then we're just going to use Execute against this. I don't want to use all my attack power against one of those units, do we? High Elf Soldier, that's fine. And that's guarding, that's okay as well. We can take that down quite easily. Alright, so that's uh, that's gonna give yeah, that's fine. Okay, yep, that is that is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic card for us to get right here. Gonna trade, no problem, and then we can uh, we can potentially give one of our. Eh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this and give that to that. There we go. We're just gonna try and protect our right side quite a bit here because we have a pretty powerful creature on the right, so it's not a big deal if something spawns on the right there. I think we can probably take care of it pretty easily. And we can always give it Orc Clansman if we so desire. Oh, we've now gained... Oh, wow. Yeah, this guy is... Yeah, he's signing his death warrant, isn't he? He's signing his death warrant. I mean, we have a... Yeah, we have how much on the board right now? We have, what is this? Seven damage and then an extra... An extra three. So we can, we can do ten damage. Right, okay. I guess we're going to do that, are we? Hmm. Are we gonna are we gonna do ten damage? Uh yeah, I, I well, no, I, I don't think I don't think it's necessary to be honest. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna trade there and just kill this. There you go. That's a little bit eh, a little bit easier, I guess. We are giving him all the cards in the world to do with what he pleases, which is probably a bad idea, because now he's oh, now he's using Firebolt on everything, but it's okay, because I think we basically have this in the bag. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything to prevent him from dying, because we have this Orc Clansman, and that Orc Clansman is going to be able to buff this up right here. And there's four damage. There you go. And there's a nice level up as well. So we're going to be able to upgrade one of our other cards. I wonder what we're going to be getting. Hive Worker. Ah, we're going to upgrade that. Ah, we can choose. Okay, so we can choose to upgrade that into a Hive Defender or a Hive Warrior. Okay, well, yeah. So Breakthrough. Excess damage is dealt to the opponent. So if you kill an opponent's minion that has... Let's say it has... 2 HP, then you're going to deal 4 damage to your opponent. I personally feel like this is probably not a very good card because it only has 3 HP. I personally feel like this, which is a taunt with 3, 6, that's really good in my opinion. So we're going to be taking that. There 
There you go, that's a little bit better. And we now have some willpower cards as well. Friendly creatures have, wow, that's that's really nice, have plus one health. When you summon another creature, you gain one health for the Bruma Profiteer. That's very nice. And also this tiger is fantastic too. That is a really nice stat line. It does cost six Magico, however. So, there you go. Nice, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. They chose to avoid the roads, but of course, the wilderness has its own dangers. All right, so we only have this and one other fight until we have gotten to unlock a Black Marsh Smuggler's deck, practice and play modes. So I guess if you'd like to see more, then by all means, let me know. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.